Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. You know we have Walt Disney World and we've got Six Flags and we have all these other amusement parks. It would be cool if someday we had a YouTube land. Take the whole family to YouTube land or YouTube world. Anyway, good morning. Today I'm going to talk about the best day of my life. I've had some good days and I've had some great days, lots of excellent days, and I've had my fair share of crappy days, but I've got one particular day that was the best day of my life. And that day was December 30th, 2005, because that's the day that my son was born. It might sound corny and cliche and mushy, but that was the very best day of my life. Let me tell you about it. So that day, me and my ex-wife were in the hospital, and she did all the work, and I was just there for encouragement. Once my son was born, the nurses were cleaning him up. They put him in his blanket, and he was crying and crying. They handed him to me, and they put him in my arms, and I looked down at him, and he looked at me in my eyes, and he immediately stopped crying, and he just stared at me. And I will never, ever forget that moment as long as I live. Now, I probably started talking to him a little bit. When he was a baby, I used to call him Buddy a lot. I was like, hey, Buddy, how's it going? You know, because I had never met him in person before. It was great. So that was the best day of my life. There's a, uh, there's a little um, post note to this story. And so the post note is this. So the nurses noticed that the way he was breathing, he was kind of flaring his nose a little bit and breathing just a little erratically I guess so I got to hold him for a little while and my ex-wife got to hold him for a little while and then they went and they took him and they put him in the newborn intensive care unit I guess overnight and they said you can visit him in the morning first thing in the morning whatever the visitors hours were I was ready to go checked on my ex-wife um, she was not my ex-wife at the time but I have to say that because now she is so <laughs> I checked on her and she was just exhausted poor thing because she did all the work you know said, okay well I'm gonna go I'm gonna go see him okay and she's like all right all right so I go in there and I guess you gotta wear I think you had to wear like a mask and gloves and I don't remember what else you had to wear so you had to go in this room and walk around there's like 30 40 babies in there in their incubators and I walked around the room and I looked at these babies all these cute babies and I was like man these babies are cute but I don't think any of these babies are my son felt a little awkward I was like I won't so I had to go ask somebody. I was like, "Where, where's my kid? And they're like, oh yeah, he's over there in the corner. And we put, a, we put a blanket over his incubator. So sure enough, they took the blanket off the incubator and then I could see that it was him. So I wasn't crazy. I, even though I'd only seen him for 15 minutes, I knew what he looked like already. And I knew none of those other uncovered babies were him. So there he was in the little incubator with all the like lines and uh, sensors and stuff they put on him and they looked way too big for the babies. So it was cute. So that's the best day of my life. Uh, if you like this story, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And in the comments below, you can tell me about the best day of your life. And I will see you next time.